All right, YouTube, it's Chris here. I'm at my local Walmart, well, one of like 20 here in San Antonio. And well, I'm gonna go down the camping and survival section and see what they got in stock this week. All right, guys, we are at the hunting, fishing, camping section. So let's go around and see what we got. Oh, this is an interesting find. Um, CRKT has something like this, the Eaton tool. But this is kind of what caught my interest is it's, it's pretty cheap. It's like seven bucks. But it's steel, though cheap steel it probably is. But it's got a spork and a knife kind of put on a carabiner pretty interesting I might pick this up and check it out for you guys and tell you my thoughts so this is a little interesting it's a survival watch apparently it doesn't say anything about um... sorry this thing is out of focus there we go so apparently it is water resistant up to 30 meters which isn't that great I mean it's a really cheap watch it's like 13 bucks however pretty nifty it's got the whistle it's got some extra ferrocerium and a striker with fire still on it so this is definitely something just for test purposes because you can this is something you can EDC on the cheap that I might be bringing to my channel pretty soon this is by far one of my favorite waterproof containers is the uh, Plano 3400 series it's like five bucks very very good find so when you need to hold some stuff in your car, your get home bag, this is an absolute godsend to keep things watertight and safe. So this is interesting. These are survival tip playing cards that I found here on the aisle. Uh, five bucks for the set. It's actually not too bad. But um, I think this could be pretty interesting. I would definitely say this is geared towards family members or your children if you're trying to teach them something in a fun way about survival so they kind of can get some repetition down, at least the knowledge portion on the days and the weeks or the weekends you can't take them out. So this is kind of cool. Yeah, for anybody who spends any time outdoors, these, this is absolutely essential. The Tick Wrangler, oh my gosh. This is absolutely amazing. I love this tool. If you spend any time outdoors in a hot, nasty, southern human environment, this is absolutely essential. Along the same lines of eating utensils outdoors, this is a new item, at least for my store. 88 cents for a three-piece cutlery flatware set. It's made of plastic, but it's really, really thick. Really, really, really tough, durable plastic. So for a whole set for 88 cents, I think this is actually a pretty good deal. This is actually cheaper than some of the plastic well or metalware you can get over in the dining section. Before I forget, just got this wallet in from a company called Anders Wallet. This is their Baron. It's supposed to be a slim EDC design, kind of a bifold hybrid, but it's pretty nifty. Uh, I'll be throwing this through my EDC rotation, let you guys kind of check this out. But yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. So as per usual, this is my favorite section. But so far from what I can tell, selection is decently bleak. I don't really see a whole lot that I'm super interested this time around. They have some of the usuals from Kershaw and CRKT and Gerber, but nothing super epic. Nothing that's really eye popping this time. Holy crap, I never thought I was gonna see this at my Walmart. This, this just came in. Ugh, $4 pocket knives. They look awfully super duper crazy cheap, but if anybody's interested, just drop down in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to kind of mess with this. Apparently this is a Ozark Trail Navaja. Whatever that's supposed to mean for them, because this is definitely not a Navaja, but uh, okay. So this is an interesting end cap. LED flashlights for a dollar. And it says batteries are included, so this seems like a pretty good steal. If for someone who really doesn't take flashlights too serious, this would be an easy, cheap way to keep something in your in your pack, in your glove box. Something really cheap 
affordable that if you know it breaks you lose it you're out of dollars it's nothing that's gonna really um, mess you up too much as far as your finances go while on the hunt in the hunting section get your appetite going this is absolutely essential for dessert so after much deliberation we went away from the turtle pie <laughs> the turtle cheesecake but uh, for I guess a family dessert we're gonna do some white chocolate white chip macadamia nut and chocolate chip lovers cookies because Nasty Toll House cookies for pre-made cookies are just awesome but uh, oh, the fatness in me is just screaming right now like no but it's so good I don't know I don't know fuck it I'm just gonna eat it anyway <laughs> 